Hey there, how's it going? Today I have a question for you. Have you ever seen an animal like this one? It might look like a beaver or maybe a capybara, but nope. This is actually a nutria, also known as myocaster coipus. In many European countries, it's commonly called koipu. Let's take a look at some of its features and why it's become a problem in Europe. The nutria is a rodent native to South America. It lives in lakes, rivers, and swamps across Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, and Brazil. But over the years, it's found a new home in Europe. So, what's this big rodent like? The nutria can grow up to 24 inches long, that's about 60 centimeters, and weigh around 22 pounds, or 10 kilos. One of its most distinctive features, its large orange front teeth, which it uses to gnaw on plants and dig out burrows. It has thick brown fur that keeps it warm and dry, and its back feet are partially webbed, making it a great swimmer. It spends a lot of time in rivers, lakes, and wetlands. Nutrias are herbivores. They mainly eat aquatic plants and roots. But how did the nutria end up in Europe? And why is it such a serious environmental issue? Well, back in the early 1900s, nutrias were introduced to Europe for the fur trade. People wanted their pelts to make coats and other luxury items. Many of the animals escaped, and others were released. Over time, their numbers grew, especially in rivers and wetlands, where they found the perfect conditions to thrive. Nutrias reproduce quickly, and since there are no natural predators in Europe, their population has exploded. And that's a problem. In many parts of Europe, nutrias, or coipus, are damaging wetlands and riverbanks, causing erosion and harming native species. They also feed on crops, which affects local farmers. The nutria is a perfect example of how introducing a non-native species can throw an entire ecosystem out of balance. It's crucial to manage their population in order to protect biodiversity. Did you know about this issue? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more nature content.